Hey YouTube, it's Girl You Look Good. I'm going to try and do a weave on camera because my subscriber has been asking for this weave. So I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to try. I may stop and come back and show you my next where I've gotten doing it, but I'm going to try it. So I already have my stocking cap and my knitted stocking cap on. Push it over so it can grip onto my skin. And the hair that I'm going to use today is a Milky Way. And also some 8 inch hair. I don't know what this is because I've had it for a while. Maybe Milky Way, but I already sealed the wax with this fabric check. Fryer check. Fryer check from the fabric store. You can buy this at the fabric store and seal your weft before you put your weave on. But I'm doing a quick weave. So my first hair that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a long piece because I'm going to put it on the back of my neck. And let's get started. I'm using this glue. start layering it. First I'm going to measure my head. I have it where I want to. I just cut it. And I'm going to glue it. I don't put too much glue on it, but Okay, so I have the glue. I'll put it back here. I'll try to get it as far down as the bottom as I can because I want um, I don't want my little beads to show of my own little hair. Okay, so that's that one. I'm gonna do the next one here. I'm gonna glue it. blow it a little bit so okay so I have this one make sure that the edge is really good okay then I have that one so I'll try to get as close as the other one but I'm staying in the camera Okay, so I'm going to move up a little bit on it and I will be back. Okay, I'm still moving up on my hair. I'm not doing the really short pieces on here, like this one, because it's like fall now, so I can have a little more hair. Um, I don't want it to be so close to my head, so I'm really using all the, the longer pieces because the top part, I'm going to add my 8 inch hair. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep going around and doing it that way. I'm not going to use the short pieces. I decided not to because it's winter time. I mean, I'm so, yeah, it's fall going into winter. And I think I just want a little more um, hair this time instead of doing it so close like my last one. I think my last one I did... 
um, the middle piece. I hardly ever use the smallest one, but I'm just going to use a 27 piece with a longer piece and then go from there. So I'll be back. Okay, so now I have this part. So now I'm going to start. I have this one. So now I'm going to just do it from here to here, here to here, here to here. And that's just to bring it up to like right here. So when I put the 8 inch here, it'll all fall down here. I don't want a lot in the back. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to cut it, measure it here, here. I'll cut it. And then I'm going to go here, here, and I'm going to cut that one. So I'm going to, like I said, this is, it's really easy to do. You don't need, I mean, it's really easy. Anyone can make a, a wig. You just have to take your time and really concentrate on what you like and how you like your hair to look, and it will come out really good. So... This is, I'm almost done. I'm just going to do a couple more short pieces and then I'm going to do my longer pieces. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit in the back. Because when I do my long piece, I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to fall too far down, like long coming down, so. That's what I'm doing. I'm just bringing my pieces up. Up a little further. Just on that part. So when I get to the 8 inch hair, I'm going to come back and I'm going to start that part. Okay? Right. Okay, so so far I'm laying my front part now. This is what I've done so far. Of course, I have to cut it. I put a few colors in it. So what I'm doing now is taking my eight-inch hair, and now I'm just gonna go across, 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 and then when I get right here, I'll start going in a circle. So that's what I'm doing now. Going from this, I don't want to go too far on over here, so I'm just gonna stay right here. And just go across and then I can trim that part but just go on a, like a, an angle and then putting that over there but some of this part I'm gonna have to trim it because I don't want it to be long on the side so this time I'm gonna finish it up and then I'm gonna come back with the finished look and then I will go over everything that I did and I might cut it on camera or I might just cut it and then come back with that. So I'll be right back. I'm back my YouTubers. I'm done with my hair. I just did my wig. Like I said, I was going to come back with the finished look. This is the finished look of the hair. So this part down here is the 8 inch. 8 inch here. And... 8 inch on this side. Let's stand up so you can see it. 8 inch on that side. 8 inch on this side. And this is the, I'm sorry, 27 piece here. And this is the 8 inch here. 8 inch here. So, I cut it so it can fall over that to give it a little more volume not too high you know with summer you always cut it real close and I didn't want to cut it close so I just left it long so again this is 27 here and here oh this is 8 inch hair you can fluff it over you can curl it to give it a more volume I mean it is fall now winter you know, we need a little more hair on our head. Ladies who wear their weaves or whatever you may wear. But this is it. This is a complete look of it. I haven't really styled it and cut it too much because I didn't want to cut it 
I was going to cut this part, but I say no, I'm going to leave it. And just at night, when I put it on my head, roll it up, do a donut roll to give it some curls. And then when I take it out in the morning, it'll have a little flip or something to it. And I can maybe touch it up with the flat iron. But, okay, this is it. This is complete look. A little more volume here. That's the back. That's this side over here. As it get old, you know that your hair falls and it settles. It won't be in my face so much. But this is this side. And that is it. I love the way I did it. I did it a little different. I know some of my subscribers wanted to see me do a wig online. So I did a little bit of it online. I'm sorry. on YouTube. I'm going to put it on YouTube a little bit that I did. And um, you can see how I do my my wigs. So this is going to last me about two months. I'm going to wear it with the winter months coming then I can just roll over into longer hair. And then again, I don't know because I really don't care for long hair. But this is it. So if you have any questions, leave them below. And I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.